Getting to Teen Challenge was quite a journey for me. I was a 10-year meth addict. I grew up with uh, some emotional issues that uh, didn't allow me to make great, good relationships and friendships growing up through high school and different things like that. Once I turned 18 and, and left the nest, I went out and partied for the first time. And that's where I picked up the drinking scene, the cocaine and the methamphetamines. I've had an on and off drug addiction for about 35 years um, since my fiance died in a car accident. And it progressively got worse as time went by. But when COVID-19 hit, I, I just kind of slid down the chute there. <laughs> it was really, it, it went very quickly. Well, at a early age, I, I knew what drugs were. Uh, I knew where to find them. I knew what uh, prostitution looked like at a young age. My dad struggled through addiction, ended up in foster care as a result of that when I was younger. Uh, turned 18, left there, uh, went out to go live with my dad, who himself kind of had an incredible recovery story. Uh, from there, ended up going in and out of prison, struggling with addiction myself. I became aware of the fact that I needed help. So I prayed to Jesus to bring me into a program. Um, and after I got up off my knees praying to God, uh, Teen Challenge called me. They were on the phone three minutes later, and Nick was on the phone saying, I don't, we, I don't know how we missed your text, but are you interested in still coming into the program? And, um, and I said, yeah, that, that'd be great. When I lost my brother to gun violence, that, that, that was my breaking point there. And I realized that uh, this isn't the way to live. Um, it was a recommendation to just check out Teen Challenge Baltimore, which I had no idea about. I felt the Lord just tugging me, saying this is that extra step into really submitting and um, being disciple, being a student, to grow in grace and knowledge of the Lord. From the moment I got here, it was no judgment. I came as I was. There's more people out there that need to hear about what's going on here at Teen Challenge Baltimore. It's a family-centered environment that a lot of people haven't been able to experience in their life. There's a lot of people out there that right now got needles in their arms, they're struggling, they're starving, they probably hadn't had a drink of water as long as they could remember, and they're probably out there with nothing. Nobody's texting them, nobody's calling them, they have no family, they have no lines, they have nothing good going for them. They're absolutely stuck in this cycle of addiction, hopelessness, etc. And I remember uh, returning uh, home finally and, and them crying and yelling at me because they thought I was dead. And I remember my family, my mom heard about Teen Challenge in high school actually. A, a group of people went down there to do a rally and a drug education and that's where she heard about it when she was a youngster. And I remember coming into Teen Challenge in California in 2008 and uh, uh, the staff was so welcoming to me. No longer was I interested in the American dream. I was interested in what I can do to bring people to Christ to find the same forgiveness that I could or that I did. And these, you know, these programs make makes world changers. Helps, helps everybody realize they're world changers, man. Yeah, in 2011, um, Mary and I moved our family from Richmond, Virginia to Baltimore, Maryland. And um, it was a huge step of faith for us, um, but it has been one of the greatest steps we've ever, ever taken. Um, since we've been here, we've watched our kids grow up. We've had a lot of opportunities to do ministry. And then at the end of 2015, we were asked to become the CEOs of Adult and Teen Challenge of Baltimore, which was a huge, uh, uncomfortable step of faith for us because I always tell people I'm probably the least teen challenge uh, person uh, out there. But um, I don't have a background in addiction um, and I'm grateful for that. But uh, I think one of the things that I've wrestled with is, well, because you don't have a background in addiction, you don't understand. And um, and what I've, what I've come to learn is that you don't have to have a background to have a heart for. And so we have a tremendous heart for and have always had a heart for people in addiction. I never really would have imagined that I'd be raising my family in the city like Baltimore. Um, there's been some apprehension, um, but we just really felt like, look, if we're going to do this, we're all in. It's not just one of us. It's going to be the whole family. I think the kids just absolutely love the guys. Um, they're invited to birthday parties, soccer games, baseball games, whatever, you name it. Um, it's really just become a larger family. Yeah. We've, we've taken our family and added them into um, what we already are sharing, and yeah. it's been wonderful. 
And so we see that the need is great. We see that the task is difficult and it's gonna take a collection of the community and the churches and all of us to come together uh, in prayer and financial support uh, in order to address this big uh, problem of overdose here in the county. It costs money to make this happen, and so we need your investment. And um, so we're asking unashamedly, like we're here, we're not afraid to do the hard work. We'll roll our sleeves up. We love working with addicts, but we need people to support the ministry of Adult and Teen Challenge and really bring this thing to life. So we're asking you, would you partner with us? Will you dig deep? Will you be a part of sacrificing to make this dream a reality in Baltimore City? We wanna just say thank you in advance and uh, we love all of our uh, friends who have supported the ministry throughout the years and we just wanna say thanks in advance again for the support that you're gonna bring for this ministry to move forward.